I am sure you did not hit the bullseye on your first try. It takes time. Similarly, when discovering what you truly want in life is a journey, not something that happens overnight. We live in a world where many seek immediate gratification, many more challenges, and a fulfilling life. However, life does not work that way. To put it in contemporary terms, we desire a microwave life, instant and appealing results, but that does not really happen. Let us consider the life of a remarkable individual, St. Augustine. He was a man who traveled, a man who preached, lectured, taught, wrote books, and engaged in meaningful dialogues. He is regarded as spiritual father of all Augustinians worldwide. Saint Augustine spent over 16 years from the year 371 to 387 on his journey of self-discovery and conversion. Let us examine the key decisions he made during this time. First decision. In the year 371 AD, at the age of 17, he followed the path many of us do, seeking pleasure while studying rhetoric in college. However, he soon realized this was not the best route to follow. Many university students today make the same choice. Chasing pleasure during their studies, Augustine's experience is not new. Whatever these people are doing, these university students are doing, is something that happened in the year 300 with St. Augustine. In the year 373, that is the second decision that he made at the age of 19, he read Cicero's book called Potentials in search of wisdom. While he found value in it, it did not provide the enlightenment he sought. Similarly, many young people today take online courses in digital marketing, web design, or programming, only to discover they need more than just YouTube tutorials. They require practical skills. Augustine did not stop there. He initially found guidance in the doctrines of the Manichaean, but soon recognized they are inconsistent. This mirrors the experience of many who switch religion when they feel their current faith doesn't address their question. At some point in his life, he then turned to astrology, but eventually dismissed it as lovable nonsense. A recent graduate might dive into forex trading only to realize they have been using a fraudulent app rather than engaging in legitimate trading. Later, Augustine studied Aristotle's categories and grasped their concept, yet they failed to answer his questions about God. What is his next step? His mind was finally liberated by Neoplatonism where he discovered a truth beyond the physical, namely the existence of God. Ultimately, in the year 387 AD, he read Romans chapter 13, verse 13 to 14, which marked his conversion. The word will visualize Augustine's series of decisions on a graph. Augustine events, assuming these are the events that decisions that he makes in his life. This is time from 371 AD up to 387 AD. This is baptism. Augustine, at some point, he decided to follow pleasure. At some point, he followed a uh, uh, Manichaean. At some point, he read Cicero's book. And lastly, at some point, he was converted. That is 387. If we are meant to see this life of Augustine, we cannot connect just two few events as being significant. Each event played an important role in his journey. We learn from our experience. The most crucial takeaway is not to give up when a decision fails to provide answers.
to life's question. Remember, even Alexander Fleming's mistake led to the invention of pencil. Keep persevering. Keep moving. Dustin continued on his path until he found himself. Never lose faith in yourself. Work diligently to discover or to uncover your true self. And above all, seek God's guidance and you will ultimately discover the best version of yourself in life. Thank you and may God bless you.